are immortal. Squirming in your chair yet? You should be. In the future, you and everyone around you will exist solely in a digital universe. You will open your eyes and live whatever fantasy you've selected from an infinite menu of options. You will be the hero of your own story. Every experience will be razor sharp and gorgeous, like the best smart drug ever invented. Say goodbye to all that brain chemistry trapping you in the darkness of your mind. No more PTSD, no more pain, no more loss. Remember that daughter you lost in a terrible car accident? Rewind the clock and imagine a new outcome. You can have the equivalent of a digital lobotomy. Not feeling well? Just reboot yourself. This is the future of your digital existence. It's the deep future. Your body, gone. You're all computer, all the time. Your brain is way more powerful than even a billion supercomputers. Jobs, food, language, water, even traditional thought. All of humanity's building blocks, all that's done. And you are immortal. Squirming in your chair yet? You should be. This isn't science fiction. Today's visionary thinkers say it's a strong probability that this is what your world is going to look like. Tonight, they'll guide you toward that spectacular future, and we'll see how one family navigates it, one invention at a time. This is the story of your future. This is the road to year million. You might not know it yet, but pay attention, because we are on a crash course to year million. An epoch somewhere in the deep future where you can't even begin to imagine how technology will utterly and completely alter our notion of what it means to be human. The idea behind the year million is like a time in the future where like everything is different. It's a total paradigm shift. An idea of this future time otherworldly from what we understand right now. I've shown you how artificial intelligence is the root of all future technology. It will elevate the human race to a dazzling level of super intelligence, and it will make us all immortal. Now, we'll launch you out into the waters of the largest paradigm shift for mankind, where we live completely and totally online. After a hard day's work, a lot of people turn on the TV and they see these worlds, these imaginary worlds, coming at you like that. But then afterwards, you turn off the TV and say, well, that was nice. It was just a TV program. Hundreds of years from now, you will literally leap into a cyber world. You'll be able to touch and feel the emotions, the fear. They'll be beamed right into your brain. Where you can not just play video games, but all of a sudden, you are the hero of your, of your story. You are the captain of the ship. And why does being the captain of your ship matter? Allow me a moment to digress. Perhaps one of the greatest talents that we human beings have is the ability to tell stories, to dream. Ever since we invented fire and huddled around it, it's how we left the daily grind behind, from Shakespeare's stage to leave it to Beaver. The media may change, but it's still a window on fantasy. We escape our day, our families, our fears, even love, but we need it. And one day we'll have a new choice, the ultimate chance to escape. We can digitize our brain, digitize our persona, and upload it to the cloud where we forget about our physical body, but it's really our consciousness, our memories, who we are. And that is resident on a computational platform that has infinite growth potential. We would become the gods that we once feared and worshipped.
I mean, could my avatar just be me, but without all of the anxiety and insecurity? Like, I think that would be great. She could like lose a few pounds and all that stuff, you know, typical lady crap, but I mostly just want her to like sleep better at night and like not worry that she like offended the guy at the deli by like ordering her coffee weird, you know? That choice to play God or just someone who doesn't tick off a barista in some futuristic microprocessor is hurtling toward us faster than you can imagine. And we are already smack in the middle of a soul-rattling, mind-bending revolution where the ultimate destination will be plugging in and dropping out. We're talking about a future where we are no longer shackled by all of the fickle quirks of brain chemistry. It will be an escape from reality so pure I can't see anyone not jumping on board that speeding digital train. But let me take you through it, step by digital step.